Hi guys, uh, this is Jason with Smoking Eagles Rod Shop coming to you again from my home shop here in Napanee, Indiana. Uh, we're gonna be working on the little yellow truck some more today. Uh, I got the uh, cold air box uh, fabricated over at uh, headquarters and uh, I have these little brackets I fabricated over there and I'd like to, you know, test fit those up see if I can't make a little progress on that uh, cold air box. Uh, see if I can't get where I want the element mounted and see if I can't figure out my angles for my tubing so I can get some couplers on the way. I got a lot of the radiator hoses, um, the individual corners, and then some straight tubing and some bent tubing. So I'm hoping I can make up the, the radiator hoses. Um, today maybe i can get a a, a a check mark in that box of complete on uh radiator tubing that would that the coolant system that'd be cool to get the coolant coolant system 100 percent done today uh, get at least one step closer on the air box today uh get it to the point where i can um uh, maybe take it over to my my buddy that does some aluminum welding and get that welded up for me uh, so those are kind of the two main projects I want to work on today are, uh, furthering that, that cold air box and, uh, completing the, the coolant tubings. Um, I'd also like to start to get to looking at the dash. Um, I'm going to need to fabricate a bottom half of the dash. So, um, I'd like to get the top half of the dash kind of in there where I want it. And then I'd like to see what I'm going to need to, to start fabricating that bottom half of the dash. Uh, I did get a bunch of the electrical stuff that I've been waiting for. Uh, that did come in, so uh, I can I can uh, I can plan a little more electrical today too. So um, uh, yeah, uh, lots of lots of little things to do. Um, nothing really super huge that I'm going to be able to check that box on today, but maybe I can get the, um, maybe I can get that air box to a point or the, maybe I can get the, the, the radiator tubing to a, to a complete state today. Um, yeah, it's, it's going really good guys. I've been having a lot of fun. Um, it's getting to that cold time of the year here in the back garage. Uh, I'd really like to get a heater and bust it out, but I'm also afraid of, you know, um, getting parts, getting things warm to the part point where they condensate and get wet and whatnot. So I think I'm just going to leave it dry out here and just kind of suffer through the cold. Uh, it won't take very long. It's not horribly cold out here, but it is cold. Um, so, uh, yeah, let's get to work on the, uh, on the, on the coolant tubing, the, the radiator tubes, and then let's get working on that air box. Let's see how far we can get on those today. And then maybe we can play around with some electric. Maybe we can play around with some uh, electric and a dash. Yeah, let's do that. Time lapse. So guys, that's kind of what I came up with for the tubing. Uh, this is a 105, so it's kind of opened up just a little bit, but I kind of had to run it out and low because my intake comes out right through here. So I think that's gonna work. Um, I honestly think that's gonna work on the top and on the bottom. I think those are pretty much done. I just need a bunch of hose clamps and just uh, clean up these edges a little bit, make them a little prettier. But other than that, I think those hoses are uh, connected to the radiator. And um, the next hoses I need to do are these little ones back here on the block, but I have those hoses in the house, so uh, those aren't a big deal to me. Uh, those I kind of had to make up. Um, I swung this down so that I could gain some room for this intake. As you can see, it's, it's essentially touching. Um, but 
Uh, I should be able to put a coupler on that. And when I put a coupler on that, um, I should have a little bit of a room there. But now I gotta figure out how to get from there to there. Gotta figure out how to get from there to the back of that box. And um, yeah, when I look at this guy, when I put him on there, I don't have a lot of room in that box anymore. So, uh, might have to do some, uh, some math here, guys. Might have to do some math, figure out exactly how much I can cut off of this, figure out exactly how much I can cut off of this end, and, uh, yeah, have that guy there, and then go from a coupler there through a straight bite to a coupler there, and then have my air cleaner on this guy. But yeah, I'm kind of, kind of looks a lot smaller than I thought in my mind. So, uh, might have to do some, uh, some measuring and, and get there from here. Um, I do have this little guy. I do have this little guy that I could put in there, but I kind of run into the same problem. I kind of run in with my throttle body right, um, right here then. Uh, maybe that'd be a easier transition. Uh, maybe I need to relook at that. Hmm. Oh, got it on the wrong way. Maybe I need to re-examine putting that guy in there. Maybe that'll help get me up and over just a little bit. But yeah, if I remember right, it still runs right into the top of this thing with my, uh, with my, with my square. So that's a little tight, but with a, with another silicone coupler, it'll get past there. But yeah, that's kind of why I had to run that hose down and where I did, um, I did have to cut the beads off of that 105. Uh, but my buddy that's going to help me weld this up weld this pipe into here, he's got a bead roller, so he'll he'll bead roller that, and he'll bead roller this guy on both ends, and when I get this guy cut to length, he'll bead roller that too, so it's nice having a friend that has the tools when you don't and knows how to do it. Um, I think I'm going to work on a little template to, to maybe close that hole up right there. If I make another little template right there, I think I can... I think I can close all this up and, um, you know, make it look a little better, maybe. Maybe. But yeah, that's kind of the next thing is, um, is getting this guy in that box and to somewhere where, you know, it's final home, hopefully. Hopefully it'll go in its final home here shortly. And then, um, yeah. Then once that's where it needs to be, uh, then I can get it welded, get it bead rolled, get it welded. And then, um, then I can get my couplers, one for this end, one for this end, and then get this guy cut to length and get it bead rolled. And yeah, we can put a check mark on those. But right now, this is kind of just sitting in here. Um, I'm going to run some, I'm going to attach that to, to that point in there. But I was thinking if I had a little floor in there, I could run a couple more, you know, one more or, or so bolts in there and make that a little more solid. Um, yeah, so I'm going to work on making this front edge fit a little better and making a template for that, that floor down there. And then also seeing if I can't figure out where I want that hole to be in this back corner. And um, yeah, Let's see how much of this tube I can cut off before that. But I'm really super happy with that. I mean, that came out, came out as, as nice as I'm gonna do, you know? It's as nice as I'm gonna do, so. Uh, gotta be satisfied with that. I'll get you guys back on time lapse. I'm gonna work on that template and on that tube and figuring out where that hole needs to be. And uh, see if we can't get that to a point where I can take it to the welder on Monday 
And yeah, get that finished up uh, next weekend. Well guys, that's kind of how I see that working. Uh, this part's going to get welded. I need a, I need a tighter 90 than the one I have, but this part's gonna get welded to this box, and then I'm gonna go coupler coupler to that guy. And that's kind of why I had to have that guy come down and out of the way. Um, yeah, I think that's, uh, and then I made this little floor for in here. Well, I'll just get that cut out of aluminum. And then um, when I get this welded in, I'll get that welded in. But I need a I need a tighter 90 than what I got. I'm gonna have to go hit the O, uh, the O summit, and see what I can find. But yeah, I think that's how it's gonna come out up over here. I think we're I think that's tucked down far enough to be out of the way, and I think that's gonna all fit. Oh man. I'm absolutely freezing out here, guys. It is cold. Well, let me get you up on time lapse, and uh, I think we're going to call it a day. I think we're going to get some uh, cleaning done and get out of here. Uh, I think I'll jump on that wiring tomorrow. Well, guys, uh, we got a little more done today. Uh, got the radiator hoses checked off. That's completed. That's that's a nice one to get completed. Um, I thought the air box was going to be a little cleaner. Uh, this 90 that I got is was the uh, was the wider of the two, and it was cheaper. So I thought I'd try it first. I should have known I was going to need the extra space. But uh, yeah, um, I'll just order the other. 90 um when that comes in i think i have the the um the box mocked up enough i think i can go cut another piece of aluminum for the bottom of that i can take all that stuff over to my um aluminum welder and he'll put the bottom in there and he'll weld that 90 in there for me and he'll bead roll um all that radiator tube that i had to shorten and um yeah i think it's a really good progress but unfortunately i'm gonna have to go back to the gonna have to go back to the store and buy some more parts and um that's just gonna take some time but um i could make that happen and uh yeah i mean it's good progress it's really good progress guys getting a lot done in a in a short period of time um just about ready to call that engine bay completely done uh i think it's done for the minute um i'm gonna have to jump onto a different project because i'm out of parts for up here at the moment so um i think i'm gonna jump on some wiring next i think that'll be fun um i just got a uh, a fuse panel in so i think that's what i'm gonna do so yeah <sighs> until next time guys hey thanks for watching